those who are defending APC think uh, foreign investors are, are dumb people or they are jokers. Tinumbu has been going from one place to another, calling for investors, start trying to woo them to come to Nigeria. And a lot of people have used uh, the president of uh, Rwanda. Rwanda is a country. He doesn't need to go out to look for investors. When your place is good, it's just like a... Just like uh, when you hear people jackpot and all of that, before the host countries began to say, oh, these are the things that we have and we want you to come. Before you could say Jack Robbie, see people on their own because of uh, the testimonies uh, of people who had already gone there and they will say, oh, this is happening and all of that. And you can see it, you can feel it when they come back to Nigeria or whichever country uh, is their home country. You see that that place is really favoring them compared to your own country because maybe you, you must have seen those people in your country that oh they were not doing well but as soon as they just step out you see you don't need any soothsayer to tell you that they are doing well so with that case it is people themselves will be telling everybody oh see what is happening here this is what is happening here so a situation whereby your home is not good just like a tinubu is going from one place to another and deceiving themselves with a it's a fake supporters who are saying oh nigeria is good uh, the other former aide of uh, Buhari saying that, uh, oh, he's showing us pictures of a uh, Nigerian celebrating Tinubu that he did not make them proud. And Tinubu has been making that statement. Oh, you people should come back home, come back home and, you know, everything is going to be fine. Forget about uh, the past leaders under my administration. Everything is going to be fine. Really? And when you see the reality on ground, I could remember when Oshibajo was still in, in power. When he was telling the people in the U.S. that, you know what, the manner to which people are talking about insecurity in Nigeria, it is not as bad as that. <laughs> but uh, the reality, everybody knows. Why lying? Now you want investors to come to your country, foreign investors to come to your country, and your certificate, you are hiding it. I don't understand. Once a week, we see you going, you're bad, dying, you're your man, barini. Whatever you have, you are proud of it. You showcase it. You flaunt it. Let them see it. So I don't know the reason why he's hiding his uh, academic certificate. And people are saying that. Investors are saying that. And we have a uh, most clean investors. You that you have, you know, with your hard-earned money, you just want to take it to a country that uh, they don't even, the rule of law is not there. There's corruption. There's all manner of things. There's bureaucracy. There's, you know, strong bureaucracy, bottlenecks here and the unnecessary bottlenecks and bureaucracy. And you want people to come to that kind of country. He doesn't work. You see a lot of people who are seeing Jack Bain today. Once you see, you don't even need anybody to say, just go to their website. Whatever they tell you in their website is exactly what they do there. But in Nigeria, it's a different thing. If you go to websites, even if a, a government official telling you one thing, hey, you just you you are not even sati you are not satisfied satisfied with it because once you want to go for the reality, people you are going to be there, you'll be telling you that hey, uh -huh, I share now somebody tell you say now nah, so you be, but now we day in charge. This is not how it is. That is a country that you expect people to come in. It's so ridiculous. At least if uh, <laughs> you are lying to people, you know that you can't lie to yourselves. What do we have in Nigeria? How many times within how many how many weeks that we have a last a a a, a, a collapse grid? Hmm? Our our a, a, a electricity has collapsed for how many how many times? And some people come and be telling you, and he just came on board. He came on board, but he hit the ground running with a bad omen, with bad president, with bad thing, suffering poverty here and there. You don't need to be going around and be telling investors, come to my country. You don't need it. On their own, they will hear the information. They will hear the good news. People will be telling, be tagging each other. People will be calling each other. Have you heard what is happening in this country? Have you heard what is happening? Oh, we, there's no a new sheriff in town. Not to talk of somebody who has a baggages. Really? And even if some of them really want to take advantage of you, is it going to be the, to the betterment of a, an average Nigeria? Just, that, just, that is the reason why I say some people are just supporting blindly. Bandwagon. Join the bandwagon. And I waited that they thought be that. And they don't even think about themselves. The, the politicians have so much oppress the people are so much taking away their wisdom and knowledge so people cannot just think deeply it's just one week one way traffic it's so unfortunate so even if some people like i said some investors might want to come because they want to outsmart you they want to 
they want to do some kind of curricular movements. And because you don't even have, we don't even get system in place anywhere belief is you just want to satisfy them at the detriment of your masses have you not been seeing a lot of things happening to our our citizens here in nigeria and you go abroad and be telling them come back home really how many of nigerian people have you been able to fight for nigerians in that are, 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 are getting you know the value of their life what is the worth of an average nigerian life in nigeria tell me Anything will happen if we have a system in place. You now hear that say, eh, hey, the IG said, oh, the 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 governor orders the IG pit or the police to go. When they are supposed to be independent and know what they are supposed to do, that is the work they are they are they are employed to do. You now hear, oh, the president uh, has directed the uh, troops to this thing. Is it because I don't understand? And a situation where we have a, 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 a where the constitution says that the president is the one that will be appointing all these uh, 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 this uh, strong parastatus, parastatus will go nowhere because it's all about eye service. And that is why you see that they will have to wait to say, oh, there's a crime going on there, uh, the president orders. Just like uh, this issue of uh, Mubab, the police now came out after, after eight days telling us that uh, 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 the, 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 the state government has already ordered us. So, without the state governor, you wouldn't have done anything. That is why people say they are not independent, but they will still come out in another breath, telling you telling you that, hey, oh, they are this, they are that. So, the bottom line is that hey, you are hiding your certificates and you expect uh, foreign investors to come. You think uh, they want to go, come and waste their hard-earned money. Just look at the aviation uh, sectors. A lot of people, a lot of those uh, 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 companies left Nigeria because... According to the plan, according to the according to what it ought to be, they are supposed to be charging Nigerians in Naira. Then the government will know how to give them the money back in 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 their own currency or in the currency that has been agreed on. They are they will today. They were majority of them have not been able to get their money back. And you want to you are expecting miracle to happen to go and take your hard earned money in that kind of country. Then why you should ask yourself why are those foreign investors why are they living? You think they are not hearing? Uh, they say, yeah, he gave a, a, a excellent speech. <laughs> as if that excellent speech has transformed or translated to good governance. All the policies Tinubu made since the first day he came on board, all of them don't scatter the, the country. He has not even been able to know how to redeem himself or to rescue Nigerians to inside the pit that he has thrown Nigerians into. And you are coming to tell us cock and boo story. Believe them all at your own peril. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.